Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Better to tell us the way. The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. Who do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. So, Mimir, why did Freya skin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh... A spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. I hope he's not broken. Mamir, we're on the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. I put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is your name. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You envy me. I've still got it, lads. He remembers me. Why you? Oh, boy. 
really is. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Ah, that. He thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. You never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? <clears throat> Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. Ulrik. You were taken from this realm too early. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate.
walks among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye... This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> There was a giant once, named Thamur. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, for the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. And what happened next? Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Brother, looks like that crystal's running again.
What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. This is locked up good. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Enemies. On your mark. Ready yourself, boys. I'm ready. Some hell! From behind! Watch your back! Up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Focus up. Ready to go now. Yeah! <laughs> 
skill continues to grow. To Njord, we offer back the seas back. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. Crystal. I wonder what it's for. Yeah. <laughs> 
How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. Well, this should be entertaining. Boy. Ready. Look, 
Is that Sindri up there? Oh, hey! You again! Come on up! Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Ready and ready. Nothing to your liking. I see. Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Boy, Carmel really liked jewelry, didn't he? He was right in his beard. I happen to think he looks dashing. You know, for a snow of course. Boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking.
We will show it to the dwarves. Lemire, you knew this place? Before? I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. <laughs> Another crystal. Just give the word. Most of it. Well, a stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other trap. We do? And what we need is all the way down there. Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. There weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to. Oh, I get it now. Good. going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip. Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You are welcome to suggest a different one. What now? Hold tight. Uh, the plan seems ill advised. Wait a Jump! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways.
Oh no, the floor's collapsed. There's a sand hole, but how do we get to it? We cannot. Boy, over here. What does it say? When time itself is destroyed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jump. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Do I know that one? Winter that... Quiet head. Doesn't like music either. Got it. Try that. Venture. Var. Sumar. House. It didn't work, but I know that's the order in the song Mom said. Do it. Vetcher. Bar. Sumo. House. It didn't <gasps> work, but I know that's the order in the song Mom said. Var, Sumar, House. It didn't work, but I know that's the order in the song Mom said. Try that. House. Sewer. Flower. Bed. Yes. Atreus. That word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lot. Write it again. Thola. The energy's lifting the platform. Keep writing. Thola. 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 Head. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of New Ord himself, in fact. He used to. Why did they stop? Well. Turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them, always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the boat!
before the floor collapses.
Thanks. The boy. 